Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. Here we go. We are ready. So your energy is Queen of Wands, Ten of Cups, Eight of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Your person's energy is Queen of Pentacles, The Magician, Hierophant Energy, and the Ward. Meeting energy is the Moon, Judgment, Ace of Pentacles, Five of Swords, our focus, Queen of Swords, Bottom of the deck, Five of Cups, Missed Chance, guys, uh, something that didn't go according to expectations in the Love Arena. Uh, this can be a let's try again type of reading, so if you are not fond of the scenario, I can understand it, but this is it basically. Uh, someone from the past can offer... Let's say a new opportunity to be together, but <laughs> it is not said that it can be embraced. Communicate clearly our focus, Queen of Swords. Don't stop. We also have It's Up To You. I will pull it because it is meaningful. Clock, need time, takes time, in time, cycles, time to heal, progress. It can be even a time factor. Meaning that it is fair to consider that there was a separation stage between the two of you. And we have the chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment or issue. Well issues can be uh, definitely a factor um, if there is a chaser is this one this person guys the queen of pentacles is a remarkable energy i have to say that uh, they can match you guys because you get the queen of wands basically they would love to find an agreement with you they are willing to take action the magician they are convinced that there can be a vision that the two of you can share mm, they can even consider the opportunity to get married hierophant ace of pentacles but they also know that the world can uh, can be just around the corner when it comes to the um, completion for the connection, truly um, end of the story, you know. Your side, Queen of Wands, um, a healthy self-confidence in your favor. You kind of know why the connection didn't work the last time you were hoping for the chance to find ten of cups energy so fulfillment of art and soul but it was not possible because of the moon the five of swords and as a consequence the five of cups that's why some of you have decided to pursue something different there is the moon in the background of the eight of cups we get it so the moon is about something that is not clear the unknown something that can be different from how it seems let's say a connection that is not uh, is not entirely 
clear in its pattern, you know? There can be a mechanism, the Five of Swords for me is an ego-driven energy, and so sometimes uh, there can be passion, yes, and maybe there is the willingness to see if the connection can work, but um, we cannot find the proper alchemy. And when this person expresses their interest uh, in favor of the opportunity to try again with you, the Page of Pentacles can be a simple feedback, you know. I love the pages because they are genuine, they are sincere, um, guys, but this is a simple way to interact with another person, kind of without making any promise. And there can be a conversation, but it seems that it seems that we are not looking at the opportunity in the same way. So, let's find out more, let's see. Some of you can say to this person, look, it's too late. We tried, but it didn't work. Now it's too late. Judgment, recurrent energy, they want it. This person wants a second chance. They are the chaser. Page of Wands, teeny tiny bit of passion, reaching out in a simple way, but in a way that can hope to reignite a spark. I have to say that the Queen of Pentacles is on point, on an energy level. But some of you, Queen of Wands driven, may not like the Page of Wands approach. Sun, for this person, the connection with you is a further source of happiness. Uh, we get the Major Arcana, the Sun, and the Ace of Pentacles, which is the minor one. They can truly dream about the opportunity to be with you uh, moving forward, guys, but uh, I have to say that it can be difficult for them to fulfill uh, this desire. Let's see your side. Because if you couldn't find Ten of Cups energy in this connection, your decision to go all out on an adventure following the Eight of Cups was justified by an inner knowing that the connection was not the one for you, basically. And so, uh, now this person is still the same, and they are offering uh, the chance to try again, but it takes two to tango. Queen of Swords, we know that she can swing the ace with grace and comfort, but the truth of the Queen can be one extremely different from what another person may desire to hear. So, Nine of Swords, a little bit of anxiety, guys. Mm, this can be this can be like a mindset that can bring some of you to say, why is this person trying to offer a new chance? when it's clear why the connection didn't work. But see, your clarity is different from this person's clarity because you see the situation in a different way. And so, star energy, wish granted, yes, but where is your wish? It seems that considering the Nine of Swords as a monkey mind uh, type of energy, we cannot uh, think things straight. Some of you can question the opportunity to find a wish in this connection. And so, let's see the meeting, because... Considering the Five of Swords and the Moon, there can be something that some of you do not like about this connection, and despite the grand gesture, the Ace of Pentacles, uh, the Judgment Call um, might not be in favor of a new chance together. Six of Cups, Memories, my favorite card in the deck. Temperance, uh, can we find a new agreement? Can we work things out? Uh, a new alchemy in favor of the connection? This can be what this person is offering. 
Nine of Cups, another wish granted, and the Knight of Pentacles, which can be the bearer of the Ace. Bottom of the smaller deck, King of Wands, which can be the counterpart. This person passionate about you guys. They want to be with you. The energies, guys, can even be in favor of the opportunity to consider if it is possible to work things out. Uh, there is going to be a major offer uh, that can come in your favor, but then, then we have a crossroads, basically. And it's truly up to you. But if the Five of Swords is something that you perceive once again because the Moon is still the foggy energy that lingers over the connection, it can be difficult for this person to be successful because you may question the real chance to find a wish in this connection despite the major level of even physical attraction that the two of you can share in favor of each other. Uh, this person truly wants to be with you. They have set their mind on the opportunity to be with you once again. They hope that memories can play in their favor, but this world, guys, and the Eight of Cups considering the influence of the Moon and the Five of Swords. It's like some of you have already left this connection, not just um, physically, but also on an energy level. It's like missed chance there is not going to be a new one, even if this person brings their A game um, to the table. That's why the verdict of the Queen of Swords can truly be uh, something way different from the one that this person is counting on. It can be, it can be a new loss for them. But if that's the case, they will have to accept it and turn the page and this can even be something that some of you guys can say to them kinda trying to explain why you do not see a second chance in the same way as they are looking at it so it's up to you 100% communicate clearly of course, Queen of Swords, and then don't stop, meaning that we are moving forward, you know? And a chapter can be closed, I have to say that. So, guys, I hope that I made myself clear, and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate, comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best. Take very good care of you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.